this is so beautiful here <gasps> with white blending into gold hello my creative friends olga sobi here and welcome to new acrylic pouring video in this video i'm going to show you how to create beautiful ocean inspired painting with just acrylic paint and water very simple yet very effective mixture for this technique and you know i love ocean inspiration and in this painting i'm going to try combining oceany colors and flow with very bright cheerful dancing movement in the composition let's see how it works and without further ado let's get started all right so today i'm working on this 14 by 18 cradled wood panel it's primed with gesso so perfectly good to go for this size of a panel i would need approximately eight eight and a half ounces of fluid paint you can always check out my paint calculator if you also want to estimate amounts of paint needed for your creations so i'm gonna be working on the uh, phthalo blue and titanium white bases and i have approximately three and a half ounces of each color so that makes seven altogether and the rest will be the one one and a half ounces is going to be for these colors i'm going to be using a little bit of this for my flow okay so before i get started i want to add a secret message to the base of this panel and today it's galore I use different color for my secret message. I don't mind if this one, it's like a turquoise, uh, overmixes to a certain level with my phalo. This will work beautifully together. So I want to create sort of a wavy movement in my base, something like this. And the rest is going to be titanium white. I never pour out the entire amount of base color at the beginning because as I go, I might see that I need a little more on the corners or add a little bit around my flow to help my colors um, flow more easily. So I always like to keep a little bit in the cup. I got a little bit of cell action here and there where my uh, iridescent green blue overmixed with my phthalo blue. I love that effect. I think it gives the painting more interest and more depth. This phthalo blue works truly amazing next to white, so I really don't mind if they overmix a little bit at the border. Most gorgeous shades of blue. I love this already, so pretty. Okay, so this part is done. So next, I want to add some of these colors on the border between white and blue. Well, we create a beautiful splashes with these colors. Which one? Yeah, let's add a little bit of this iridescent. Of course, gold. Can't go without it. I want to add a few touches of copper. I think it will also look very nice in this color palette. A little bit of violet for some contrast. And a few splashes. This one is primary magenta, just for some accents. All right, looking good. So now I want to blow this out. I'm not gonna be using blow dryer today just want to create more small and rounded shapes. Oh, this is so beautiful here <gasps> with white blending into gold.
I want to add a little bit of this iridescent green blue here because I love how it looks here right now and I know when it's gonna be dry it's gonna be darker but it's gonna give nice shine to my blue area good I'm just gonna blend it in right with my finger and then I can blow it out No, it's better because it was too much of a magenta and magenta is a very transparent color so right now it looks like specks of red when it's going to be dry it's going to look a lot more it's going to have more violet tint to it and it's going to be more transparent before dark because i used it on such a dark background Okay, I think it's time to do a finger swipe. So many gorgeous details here. I really want to just connect them in one flow. Little touch, but I love the effect it creates. I'm going to stop now. I don't want to change a thing. Beautiful dancing waves. Let me show you some beautiful details. There are some awesome cells here and keep watching to see fully dry and finished result. See you soon. Hey guys, so here is this beauty dry and finished. As you can see, it dried really dark, especially that blue and now there is so much depth and so much contrast in it. But even though this phthalo blue dried so dark, I'm going to point some light at this beauty and you're gonna see the magic. Check this out! This is what I do for fun. So check out this beautiful iridescent color inside of my phthalo blue. It totally sparks up in light and I think it adds it so much more depth. And of course a lot of golden details. And I think I have too much gold, honestly, in this piece to my liking, but at the same time, the one word that comes to me the moment I look at it is sophisticated. With all the complexity of the details and this playful, playful line between white and blue, I think it's really cool. And here I have removed the tape from the side so you can see nice and crisp wood edge with a little bit of paint overlapping. I really like this nice clean effect. Please let me know how you like this design and the outcome. I'll be happy to hear from you and we'll chat with you in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, take care guys and see you in the next one. Bye bye!